Hi everybody, what's up? It's Tim Michael and my beautiful wife Shay. And we are en route to um, a little day that we've been looking forward to, I'd say for the past couple months. Um, and that's the Strawberry Festival in, um, did I say festival? I said festival. I heard festival. Festival, I, heard, I, heard I felt the B. I heard the B. But, uh, but the festival in, uh, in Plant City, where I proposed to my wonderful wife uh, quite some time ago. I was about to say two months ago, but I was like, no, nah, I married my wife two months ago. <laughs> a little longer. Like that. Yeah. A little longer than that. So, anyway, we're on our way. Beautiful. It is a beautiful day. Let's see if I can get a picture of this, because I think it's gorgeous. It's a pretty day. Pretty day in Florida. Yep. Which is wonderful for me because um, Shay cannot stand the cloudy days here sometimes, especially when I'm off of work. Mm -hmm. So going to the Strawberry Festival today, I was like, please let it be sunny. And we woke up and Tim's like, it's sunny. And I look out the window and it's cloudy. And he's like, it was sunny like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's Florida for you. I got up, I got up this uh -huh. morning and my arm is killing me today because I did a workout. I haven't worked out in maybe half a year at least. So my body's not ready for working out again and it's got to get back into its routine. But I look out the window and I'm thinking, we're going to Plant City today. Please, dear God, please give us a sunny day so I can tell my wife it's sunny. Because every day she goes to work, while she's at work, it's a beautiful day and sunny. Um, but every day that she's home and she's, you know, home with me and we're enjoying our day, it's stormy or raining or whatever. And it just gives her no chance to enjoy Florida the way it should be enjoyed. So I look out the window and I'm like, blue sky, sun, it's going to be awesome. So I go into the bedroom and she's there working on uh, finances and stuff. I'm like, honey, nice sunny day. And she opens up the window and she goes, what? Really? I take a look and there's gray sky. And I'm like, oh, man. So, and then she, she, I was, I immediately reached for the phone. She's like, I already checked. It will be sunny in Plant City. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Good. You know, so beautiful day. I guess it just had to cook off all the, the clouds a little bit with the, with the sun. So now we get to go ahead and head to Plant City. And, and oh, we're on our way. Enjoy our day. Yeah. So anyways, we will check back in when we get there. Looks the same for us. We cream a different kind of buzz. Let me be your ruler. You can be my queen bee and maybe I'll roll. Let me live that fantasy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We missed our turn here. How do you know if you're going? Ah. Uh, it says recording, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just had to take a video of this. Um, can you see above our heads? I'm really, really sorry, but I'm from Montana. And seafood, for one thing, is not exactly common. And seafood at a carnival, uh, spouts, um, food, poisoning. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but no, it doesn't, not so hot. I mean, look at all these places. It's like dipped in fried everywhere, elephant ears, whatever, and then you've got seafood. Like, well, really, I mean, this is, really? This is why you come to a carnival to eat food that you should never even touch. And you can bet we're going to go home with stomach cakes, Amen. I'm sure. Amen. I call the bathroom first. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> What do you see, hon? Minions! <laughs> My wonderful wife, a big fan of minions. Ooh, a little bright? Yes. So we just got off of a ride somewhere over there called the Magnum. I didn't know it went upside down. <laughs> it was that was fun. I was waiting for it too. That was fun. It was I was good. I was thinking it was going to take us a while. So I don't know how many of you guys, this will tell me your age recognize this ride, Gravitron, and uh, by the say of uh, votes, you're welcome to put it in the description, how many of you have been on this one without getting off and throwing up? I don't know anyone who's been off. Me. I'm I leaving not, now. I not throw up. I almost do you on these. You got nauseous. I almost do on these. Anyway, more fun to come. This stuff is expensive. You gotta come on the weekdays if you can. Because then you can get like all day bands for all the rides that you want. Where, you know, we just spent $20 to basically ride two rides. Two fast rides. Oh, and actually this is one for you to look right here too. Not really. Yeah. Alright. We let the wife pick. She spent the money on me, so we'll let her pick. But... That ride is a good ride. But they got them all here, folks. The Ring of Death. All of them. Lots of fun. Lots of time with the family. Love you. Love you.
you guys. Uh, I'm going. We went on this. All right, there's a video. I'm recording for a half a second. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna. She wants to do that one. centripetal force on the way down is getting pulled down with your head pointed towards the ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was sick. That was crazy. Anyway, there you go. That's enough video to get you guys figured out how on earth that ride works. Ten dollars for us to ride that thing just now. Yeah, exactly. Five, uh, five tickets. That's how they make it sound cheap, but it's five tickets, which is five dollars a person. Wow. For like 30 second ride, 45 second ride. That's okay. We racked it. And I threw up. Not really, but <laughs> this. It's all like it for a half instant there. I gotta say, that was seriously sick. That was awesome. You, they, I mean, you get the idea of what's going to happen until you get on it and experience it for yourself, but the long story short is when you get caught on the outside of this thing, as it's swinging down, centripetal force is just pulling against you. And it's, it's like you're being pulled into the ground while you're flipping. It's sick. It was awesome. That was really Perfect. fun. That was my choice. That was, it was her choice. Guys, hi. <laughs> so, Go ahead, we're, we're a little full, a little done, and we are on our way home. What time is it? It's three. Only... <laughs> it, three hours, people. Three hours is all we can we handle. Only made it three hours. In the heat of Florida, in, a, wow. in crowds that were unbelievable. I mean, I'm used to some crowds, but I'm from the traffic. I'm from too. Montana. This is. There you go. And that's a good, that's a good traffic line right there. I mean, yeah. not even bad. That's not even bad. It was horrible. This is like, what do we say? The little, we got, we got strawberry shakes afterwards. And the nice little, nice little gentleman that was helping us out said, yeah, it's definitely something when it takes 45 minutes to get through our six mile long city. And that's exactly the truth. Yes, very congested. Yeah. Um, everywhere you look, Walgreens, Taco Bell, everywhere, people's houses, making sure that they're outside, out front, charging money for parking. That's how congested, so. $5 parking, if you can get $5 yep. in that area, you're doing good. Yep. So anyways, we are stuffed. It was a wonderful day. Oh yeah, let me tell you, lunch was oh, awesome. Awesome, incredibly uh, expensive, but awesome. About $42 later, we had the, uh, <laughs> the I buffet have, of the fried foods. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, we have pictures of, of this, and it was incredible, because you see this carnival booth and they got like this fire pit right at the front with these humongous walk vats with um, I don't know the name of that huh? I don't know the name of those I don't know but they, I mean it was they were covered to the hilt in onions oh and yeah they had all sorts of stuff cooking on top oh my gosh it's, it, was it was amazing smell oh, everywhere we walked we're like oh new smell oh new smell oh yeah oh it was good and, and, and in my mind I'm thinking we have to hit each one of these places and then in the end it's like we're going to this one yeah we got some really good stuff. I got my my funnel. I almost said futon. My funnel cake. I love funnel cakes. That was really good. Now explain explain to them your whole funnel cake deal. Um, I am not. I was not a huge fan of funnel cakes. Um, I am now. My lovely husband has changed my mind a little bit. What? But in Montana, when we went to my fair, I'm not really sure, but apparently Montana. Do you think we have a little bit? Well, that's deep frying now. <laughs> we have a lot of experience grilling. We love steaks and stuff, apparently. But uh, the deep frying thing, not so much. And at my fair, I was used to funnel cakes that were like crispy brown, like almost burnt. And I was like, no, I hate funnel cakes. I don't want them. So 
I see the ones they're making, I'm like, wow, those actually look kind of really good. Like, they don't look burnt. They probably taste pretty good, too. And lo and behold, they were very, very good, so. I was telling her the Floridians are more practiced because um, we have all year to work on this. Yeah. Where we when have two months out of the when year. When it's snowing outside, it's below zero. I don't see many people standing over a, 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 a grill a of any sort, yeah. a deep fryer, unless they want to cook their own face warm again. Yeah, Which, we've got like, what, two two months of summer, so we don't really have a lot of time to practice. Yeah. Now, we decided after the whole event was over, you know, after three hours of hardcore uh, doing our little rides and things, which were a lot of fun. All right, I'm trying to, sorry people, That's I'm just trying to figure out, there we go. Uh, anyway, so instead of, uh, you know, staying there, there's something we really wanted, which was a strawberry shake. And there's this place called the Parksdale Grove, oh. and it, they make some really amazing shakes. Oh, that's and, my hand, sorry. <laughs> and so we're thinking, let's try and hit that. <laughs> Close up, honey. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're thinking, let's try and hit that on the way home. Let's hope they're not closed, because I can see them closing everything and then taking everybody to, you know, the show to be there to do their stuff there. So I'm thinking, we're probably not going to find it. So we drive over there, a line uh, that went out the door, around the side of the building, into the parking lot was there eight touch net with a 10 foot pole it was a very long line yeah. but that was the that was the place that i asked Mandy to marry me you know you did. So, and it was nice it was wonderful and not nearly that full no there was nobody <laughs> there i don't think when you asked me to marry you and there was a literally if we had to guess what maybe like 75 100 people in line mm -hmm. easily yeah that, that was insane or more and so it's like not touching that so then we ended up uh, driving down the road a little further and we found this other little place if you ever get a shake, strawberry shake, from any place other than Parksdale, I strongly advise going to Steak and Shake and getting their very, very strawberry because what you get any place else is gonna taste exactly like that shake. Just saying. And uh, apparently these people, everybody else does not like Parksdale. And they say that they're- Parksdale Groves. Yeah. So they get all the business for some reason. And apparently so, because we walked right up to the window and ordered our shakes there, yeah. other than standing in line for 45 minutes. <laughs> a little longer, you know. Some old lady trying to get out of her credit card, how do you use this thing? Takes and you know, and get a bunch of those in a row. So I'm kind of wondering how connected Parksdale actually is with the Strawberry Festival. I'm kind of wondering if they're not one of the key sponsors or something key sponsors or something because we saw that they actually had a parksdale booth inside um the um the festival the festival thank you i, I, was, I was thinking foundation you're welcome <laughs> and so anyway long story short of stuff that you guys don't even care about that was a lot of fun and i think we especially enjoyed the um i enjoyed the rides i thought the rides were fun and awesome. the rides were really cool. That's because Wifey picked them. And she did a good job too. You picked one, but I but I okayed it. Yeah. I, I was I was giving permission. And in the end, I don't think about that one nearly as much as I think about the other one. Which was awesome, and I picked it. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to take credit, but I'm trying to take credit. The, the thing that's funny. <laughs> the thing that's funny about these, and I know that we already explained what the ride is about, but when they get you all strapped in, you feel all nice and cushy in there. They got this humongous bar going across you, and so you're thinking, I'm not moving anywhere. The instant that ride starts everything loosens up <laughs> next thing you know you, you realize how much when you go upside down yeah. how much you move up and slide up and yeah. down either slide <laughs> up and down or back believe it or not when you're pushed back yeah. in your seat there's a bit of a gap between that thing that couldn't let you breathe when you were on the ground and when you're in the air pushed up against one side you're thinking i can't breathe you know or whatever so i don't know it kind of felt like uh kind of felt like an egg beater it was a lot of fun. I liked it a lot. I like the ones. I don't need a whole bunch of like scary, scary, incredibly dangerous thrills. But the ones that just spit on the ground that are half kitty rides to yeah. me, I don't want to ride those. So I, it, I, it's nice to have a little bit of the adrenaline rush. I admit, I don't know if you guys remember the tilt and whirl. But the tilt and whirl always was fun. Was I do. I like to spin. I do. Tilt, I like that one pretty the well. The tilt and whirl and the scrambler or, or the egg beater. I think they always usually call it the scrambler. Yeah, I like the tilt and whirl better because the scrambler to me isn't is is. Adrenaline rushing. I can control the tilt to whirl just a little bit by making myself spin around, which I like. So. Yeah. And we're older. 
Oh, we are goodness. older. We're noticing this, people. We went, oh, we forgot the candy shop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're older. We are older. We're we went, older. We went through the candy shop, and there's, of course, it says something about candy of yesteryear. So it's allowing you to make your own um, like candy bag from all these older, old time kind of candies. And I'm recognizing like everything in there. And I'm like, does that mean that we're old? Honey, we've reached the old stage old of back in the day, or you know, back in my day, we used to whatever, oh my gosh, we're getting old. If any of you guys are between the ages of 25 and 30, uh, let me ask you, do you any of you guys happen to remember the pecan log? The pecan log was a very long log thing, and you can usually get them at like Walgreens or whatever, and they were delicious. But apparently they've gone out of business. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And you just felt what we felt on that ride. <laughs> that was almost in the strawberry shake, admittedly. <laughs> well, they'll know how we feel. <laughs> We're having a bit of technical difficulties, people. A little like, slushing. Back to our original programming. <laughs> <laughs> I think her arms get a little tired. We'll have to end this because she tells me I talk too much. But anyway, what a great day. What a great day. It's been a lot of fun. So we're heading home. I think we're going to try and relax. We are, because I have to work tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll try and relax. Darn. Make the rest of our evening an enjoyable one. And then uh, tomorrow gets back to life. i got to find another church to visit and see if we can find something that um, would work for us. And then, uh, of course, Shebo, she goes back to work tomorrow. So we'll see what all happens. All right, we're out of here, guys. Thank you so much. This is Tim and Shay from the Tim and Shay Chronicles. Right here on Tim McAllard's too. Later. I mean, I mean.